am Vinny, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay, and, and we, we are Paro DJ. DJ. We are in Seattle, Washington, because yes. we're getting ready to go on a cruise. Where are we going? To my favorite place in the whole world. We're going to Alaska. <laughs> Alaska. <laughs> We're excited. Yes. We're actually getting ready to do, I would say, side-by-side -side cruises to Alaska. We're starting with Serenade of the mm -hmm. Seas with Royal Caribbean today. Gosh, yeah. we're changing color here in this light. <laughs> we're real pale all of a sudden. Maybe Alaska will darken us up. <laughs> but we're getting ready. We've stayed here at the Holiday Inn Express SeaTac, mm -hmm. which is near the airport. We didn't really do a room tour or yeah. anything because it was real late. Yeah, but it does include an airport shuttle mm. to and from the hotel to the airport. Yeah. And you can book a cruise shuttle for about $15 a person currently. So really good. Right. Love the option. And don't have a ring to her, sorry, but it's nice. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> boy, it's not near anything other yeah. than the airport, but they do have some local shuttles and things. Anyway, yeah. but we're getting ready to hop on. They had a 1015 and a 1215 shuttle, so we're hopping on the 1015, yeah. getting ready to roll down to Pier 91. 91. Yeah, so I guess that's it. You're ready for Alaska? Yeah. Let's go see all the whales. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We've got our EMED at home test results yeah. in hand. They did email us a printed copy. We printed them and we're going to roll on to the ship now. We'll let you know how it goes. Yes. have arrived. Serenade of the seas. Are you more excited now? Yeah, because I'm seeing it. So. <laughs> and it's in Seattle. See, we've also got Royal Princess over here next to us, which is funny because we're on Royal, but that's Princess. We are joining the 1230 to 1 o'clock line like good folks, like we're supposed to. We're like the only ones in this line, sadly. We follow rules. <laughs> yeah, so they've got the first boarding zone over there. We're the 1230 to 1. They actually have like a 130 or uh, 2 o'clock something zone stretched out down in this little dude so they're staying very organized out here all right we just got semi checked in she came by checked our test uh, things which the e-med tests were beautiful the printouts worked wonderfully we didn't even try the digital certificate we did no. the printout route so she checked your name oh, first oh yes that it matches when you took the test. We're not detected and the time and the date that True. You took it. but here at seattle anyway what happens if you show up without a test they actually have a section that they send you to over in that direction that you can take the test for a hundred dollars so they do have an option where if for some reason something happens you can pay for it on the spot True. in seattle i have no idea about oh, other yeah. terminals a lot of places are, are setting up mobile testing yeah. like that but can, can confirm that it is here in seattle for a hundred dollars a person but anyway we have our tests already good to go <laughs> the doors have officially opened it is 11 30. about that time. First steps on board. To Alaska. To Alaska. <laughs> A little extra pizzazz in that one. So all on board, four o'clock. Walk for health, sanitize for health. And we have come in and we're gonna wander up here to find the centrum. See if we can catch an elevator up to 11. Check out some wind jammer excitement. Windjammer has been located. I think we are in the mood for some food and drinks. So noon to 3.30 or you can eat at Park Cafe. That's right. Let's explore the Windjammer together. All right, we've got Salad Bar. This is the last place I need to go. And we are on assisted buffet style here. So the crew will serve you. Ooh, chicken curry, paella, fava beans, potatoes. All right, this looks like my zone right here. Okay, we got different stuff over here. Chicken and pasta. More Indian food, I love it. Got sort of a grill station going over here with steak and salmon, chicken, pork chops. They got chimichurri and bernays. And a big old carving station. How are you? Beef Steamship, that's an awesome name. So D went and got salad and Ralph. meat. No, I, that's all I see is salad and meat. I love it. Sounds good. All right, I got a variety of some Indian food, some kind of like a little beef stew, some potato wedges, paella. Oh, I totally missed all these sandwiches and breads and things last time. And they did have some pre-made salads and vegetable things that you could grab, which is handy. Burgers, dugs, and pizza, of course. But we're heading over here to Sweet Dreams. 
What are we working with? Oreo cheesecake, apricot almond pistachio pie, blueberry cheesecake, which is gluten free, uh, Waldorf apple pound cake, chocolate bar. All right, well, we got ice cream over there now. Don't get distracted by ice cream. Chocolate chip cookies, scones and berries. Oh, is that what that little thing is? Welcome back to Serenade of the Seas, which I've already hacked into. Orange key lime cake, which is gluten free, and fruit. Well, I ended up going with the Oreo thing and the apricot almond pistachio thing because it was just so many words. I had to try it. It's great. Look at my bracelet. They gave us these cool bracelets when we checked in. Yeah, I guess it's to show that you are, in fact, vaccinated. I ran over to the other dessert station. They had different stuff at the second dessert station. I got the chocolate bar that I saw earlier. That's a pear pie, which I don't remember seeing. And a couple that is two. Oh, well, they're stuck together. Chocolate chip cookies. Dessert update. I probably have chocolate in my teeth, but anyway. If I could go back and talk to my younger self, I would say just get the Oreo cheesecake and the chocolate chip cookie. Skip the rest of it. Just be smart. Oreo cheesecake is pretty good. Side note, Scandalo, we have to see if we can uncover this. We asked if we could get the essence to water, you know, that's normally lemon lime or mango or something, and they said no, you had to have like a package to like get that. Don't freak out, we're gonna investigate more, but I hope they haven't moved our enhanced waters, whatever they're called, to like a pay drink package. Maybe not. Anyway, don't take our word for that yet. We'll investigate. Updates coming soon. Lunch is done. Let's see if we can head out to the main pool area. Hello, main pool area. I don't know how much action this is gonna see on an Alaska cruise, but you never know. We are gonna camp here at a little table and kill some time till we can get into our room and drop our bags off at 1.30. And overlook this little marina. I remember that marina from last time. D is getting us all checked in on the E-Muster. We do have to go to our assembly station here in a hot minute. And we'll probably do that after we get to our room. But you've watched the life jacket video. You listen to the emergency. Oh, you still have to listen to the horn. Nice, and Barbie Girl in the background, if we can hear that too, but. It's going, I just have it kind of quiet. <laughs> I don't need to hear it. Yeah, but pretty easy. You just watch the video, listen to the sound, and then go check in with your folks at Muster. Uh, uh, Complete. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're scrolling down the evening schedule on the app here, and I came across something interesting, and I think we figured out what it means. Like, there's events on there. You come across some, it's like, top 40 with house DJ, there's a V and a star. I believe that means for vaccinated guests only. So then you have lanyard sale, dance music with the Funk It Up band, vaccinated only. So it seems like some of the gathering type events, I don't know, but then Piano Melodies, that does not have it. So we'll try to confirm what that V means, but I think that might be a thing. Hmm. Just got the warning, staterooms are ready, so let's go locate ours. Oh, we got a little library over here on deck seven, and we live on the even hall. Oh, I'm getting like old school retro vibes. Sanitized and ready for you. The keys were behind our little number thing. D's opening those, and they're reminding us that we need to do our safety oh briefing. My gosh, are you worst. tearing those things up? I just drop litter on the floor. <sighs> there is a fine for that, ma'am. Amazing race. They're just like, Ooh. I'm not good at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I'm struggling. This is awful. Okay. Cabin spin, and yes, that is a balcony out there. You know, for Alaska, we usually do like to have some kind of window or a balcony. Anyway, let's do a cabin door. So from the door, we do have the little magnetic do not disturb sign, which can be flapped on the outside of the door. Oh yeah, we get to learn where our muster station is. B6, okay, so it looks like we do check in on like the muster deck as usual. Light switches. Got a couple of little hangers up here, a nice little old school twisty twisty thermostat and a reminder to keep your balcony door closed to help preserve the air. Let's check out our closets. Oh, wow. So here, we have a little storage space on top, a little hangy zone, Ooh, big hangy zone actually. Some shelves, okay, it's basically just one giant closet with three sections. Goodbye closet. Zoom in here, check out. We've got the little teeniest couch ever. It's so cute. We threw our bags over there for now. Little table. Oh, we have two tables. Oh, this is a mirror. <laughs> this is where they keep their D's. And over here. 
Oh, I just hit the bathroom door thing with my uh, wrist. Let's look at the desk before we go anywhere else. So desk here, this is actually our first platinum cruise with Royal. So we got some platinum pins, uh, cruise compass. They gave us a couple of masks and some hand sanitizer. Got nice little drawers down here. I guess there's what, a center drawer. Yeah, a little mini fridge maybe and or whatever you call it. Oh wow, wood tones. Ice available upon request. Okay, so we've got one US type outlet and one maybe sort of European something or other outlet. Oh, there's another little one sneaking over here. So I think we do have two outlets we can use. If you have a modem, you can stick your modem in there. Should keep me. Yeah, little shelves up here. Is this called a cabinet? What are these called? Oh, they are shelves with a little safe. Nice. Um, beep, beep. I'll figure out how to use that eventually. Actually, is it pre-locked? Oh no, I think somebody might have pre-locked our, our safe. Okay, I'll figure that out later. Little lamps by the bed. Uh, I don't see any charging solutions, but I wasn't really expecting one on this ship. I've got the phone by my bed. Oh, weird. Nice little Usually storage thing. Desk. True. How's the pillows? Are they squishy whoosh? Actually, they're pretty nice. Yeah, the bed itself feels like, comfortable. Yeah, they've got the rounded corners so that you can kind of get around them easier. Welcome aboard, dressed to impress laundry special. <laughs> Psh, let's look at this balcony. Let's okay. see if Dee can read the instructions Push for the balcony. Down and root. It already is down. Well, then just skip that step. Well, I was going to say. That's weird. Okay, we're overlooking this little marina that we saw earlier. Wow. Yeah, I guess the only thing is uh, we just did a guaranteed balcony room. We do have a lifeboat right under us. You can still see out yes, you can. Scenery, the there, right, you call to it, yeah. sing the song to its people. My neighbors are gonna hate me. They probably will. It's a little table and a couple of chairs. I'm so excited. <laughs> wow. Let me step over the threshold and come show. Yeah, so obviously here. Oh gosh, is this life? No, this is like a, a this is like a deck or something below us. Could they have made it glass? <laughs> you have made the no access roof glass i mean come on now okay but yeah we definitely have lots of panoramic views and whatever here from deck seven wow it's chilly out here already i'm already cold i'm just in seattle we do have a little room dividing curtain that you can pull across that would separate the bed area from the couch area i don't know if somebody could sleep on this perhaps a very a small child small sleeper we'll <laughs> maybe Let's look at the bathroom while we're here. I'm not sure what this unit, if this is the thing to like control the level of announcements in your room or it doesn't seem to do anything. That's the light switch, obviously. We do have the little pod type shower system here. Let's, wow, space age. Your two in one hair and body wash in there. We'll investigate that a little closer later. Towels, little toilet snuck in the corner. Single sink, you know how it is. Storage behind the mirrors on the corner. Well, that mirror anyway. What are you Watch doing, watching? Oh, that's what's on TV. It's those weird yellow uh, pink people. That's Royal rude. <laughs> don't judge the people like that. Okay, I mean, they don't look like normal people. They just- Again, what is normal? Look, see, okay. <laughs> this could be, wow, look at that screen flicker. This is totally normal in their world. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. They are. Wash, Wash your hands. <laughs> we did so good. <laughs> so let's learn about protocols while we sit here because we need to make sure we know this stuff. So the little bed paper did not answer my question about mask protocols. We think it is indoors masks, yes. Outdoors, no. I think what I understand is Royal has different protocols for vaccinated and non-vaccinated, oh, and there's some okay. events that if you're vaccinated, you don't have to wear them. We're probably some. still gonna okay. wear them anyway, just because you know we're Might not as well. playing with this thing. Nah, nah. Um, <laughs> All right. But I don't see anything in writing about it, truthfully. So hmm. I we'll guess find we'll out just as we go. ask. Yeah, we'll just ask as we go. Yeah, that'll work. Or read signs. There's posted signs. True. Look at D, the researcher, reading the cruise compass. Oh my gosh. I, we always say the best thing you can do is read everything. It's true. Would Are we know? always good at that? No, no. But I found the information we were Not looking for. Face masks. All guests to and above must wear face masks indoors unless seated and actively eating or drinking. 
Masks are not required for vaccinated guests when in venues or events designated for vaccinated guests only. Ah. Guests under the age of two do not need to wear a mask. Parents or guardians, please ensure that children wear face coverings when applicable. Let's see. Please maintain physical distancing between your travel group and others. If you need medical assistance, dial blah, blah, blah from your stateroom <laughs> to make an appointment. Nice. And that's about it. Yeah. Oh, I have one important question. Yeah. Where's your shirt from? Because you know people are going to ask. <laughs> the funny thing is, I look exactly like I did when I went to Alaska last time. Because oh. this is my Alaska sweater. Um, it's from Old Navy. Nice. From like six years ago. So you and my hair is curly because I do yeah. that when I go to Alaska because I'm not jumping in the ocean every other day. So people will never find a shirt themselves if they want it. You can right. eat it on Poshmark Oh, still. wow. Yeah, okay. ship's wheels. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Bye. Hey, where are your shoes from? Because you know people are going to want to know. Are you really asking? Uh huh. No, not where are your where are your pants from? Because you know people are really going to want to know. Forever Twenty One. Nice. I love these pants. Ma'am, is that your mustard dance? <laughs> Bee Gees are in the centrum. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go to deck five and do our actual end of our mustard drill now. Y yeah. The mustard drill is about staying alive, so I do appreciate that. <laughs> Down. Down. Oh, not too far down. What? Made in Alaska? Oh, that look at that. That is totally neat. Ooh, it's that's nice. cool. I might have to. Now, we it's can't. Little, look, though. if we're actually trying to find our muster station, we can't get distracted like this. We have to focus. No. Guys, look at this. I remember liking the Alaska merchandise better than like Kirby. The ship is going down. We're shopping. <laughs> so we've come all the way up to the entrance to the theater, but we should be able to poke out here and find B6. Yes. That's us. All right, that was it. We are all checked in. All they told us is that if you hear the beep beeps on the thing, you come run into the muster station and you're perfect. Ooh, taking in some art as we wander up to deck six. Wow. Figure dans l'espace. Okay. All right. Looks like Crown and Castle Pub. I guess that's this thing up here around the corner. Yeah. I see a casino in the distance. Oh, very sparkly floor. So this is like barrels and oh, this looks cool. This is a vaccinated guest area. Nelly Furtado is in here too. I guess they have bands playing. Probably not Nelly Furtado. I think I saw that there was like a pub entertainer advertised on one of the digital signs. I like it. Gosh, I like these big chairs. These are like me chairs. <laughs> Sitting on my throne ruling over all the peasants in the pub. Wow. Oh. Somebody thinks highly of themselves. What? Okay, let's move on. Casino Royale. Okay, vaccinated guest area. Now I didn't see anything about not recording in the casino, especially since it's closed. Not Cash crane. Oh, all this video poker. Oh, but they don't have like. Oh. Because it's True. Okay. Like on the adventure, it was every other right. machine, but since this is basically fully vaccinated, they are not distancing the machines. Maybe. Interesting. Pretty big though, as we kind of wander around. Yeah, they have a whole other side over there. They got mermaids holding balls. Pearl. Pearl pearls. That's a nice ball you have there, ma'am. All right, it's a pearl. Gosh, we need to like gamble some more. There's a lot of gamble machines on here. Hey, Wheel of Fortune. True. So this is leading us back out into the centrum. I see Vintages, which is the wine bar over there. Music everywhere. I forgot that. It's very difficult to record. You have to talk all the time so the copyright robots don't find you. Or you sing along and then they get you even faster. Vintages Wine Bar, which apparently is also a vaccinated guest area. Coming into Schooner Bar. Oh, and the Safari Club. Wow, look at all the stuff here at the back of the ship. I always like the theming in the Schooner Bar. This is like a huge, I feel like there should be some tables or a dance floor. This is like a good photo op right here too. There she goes. Yes. Yeah, lots of cozy booths. This is probably the trivia zone. Oh, chops. Yeah. The chefs are abandoning chops. Let's not go there. Uh, Giovanni's over there. Holy ship. 
Alright, Safari Club. Hakuna Matata. You get some views off the back of the ship. Yeah, this looks like, I don't know, karaoke, comedy. There is a mandatory safety briefing. Yeah. Everyone must attend. Do it. This process is quick and it is easier than ever. And now it's time for balcony chill mode. Push, lock down, and rotate handle. I tried to push it down. Raw, you just have to use all those muscles. Ah, look at that balcony. I think we're gonna pop a live <laughs> stream out here for a while, so. If you joined our live stream and it worked, thanks. Well, we just wrapped up over an hour of live stream excitement. The Royal Princess is actually sailing away over there. I believe she is empty. I don't think she has any passengers on her, so that leaves us alone in the port, which means she is not blocking the Seattle skyline like she was before. Both of our suitcases have shown up. We are getting in full-on unpack mode so we can settle in. Oh, welcome to Unpacking with D. You got them boots? Look at how she put all these clothes you in know, here. You have big feet. It is not fair because it takes up like half your suitcase. But Good. anyway, waterproof shoes. Good important. thing I got those dainty feet. <laughs> what is this little outfit you got going on over here? <laughs> okay, that's my pajamas or it could be something else. It's my Alaska <laughs> shirt from last time. Some joggers and wow. turtle slippers because, you know, warm feet are important. That is styling. I love it. I am telling you. <laughs> all right, we're going to let this unpacking happen and we will see you guys when cool stuff goes on. So never. Never. Pretty much never. <laughs> Guys, we're discovering new stuff all the time. There's a little thing here that you can pull out that's flat. We were thinking maybe something to do like if you needed a computer or I don't know, could you eat on it like a little table? I don't know what it's for, but it's cool. And then over here, we noticed in this drawer, the guys, or the, the folks here on the cruise must have known about Dee's affinity for seeing nature and weeping. <laughs> So um, they gave us extra, extra tissues. Nice. We have officially started moving. Wow, so we get all these sunny, sunny views. I think we're gonna do a little bit of a spin. I don't know if we're gonna make it to see the Seattle skyline from this side. And then we cruise out, I believe this little channel over here. We'll have all those pretty mountains on our side. Guys, I have set up the weirdest rig for doing a sail away time lapse. Um, but the only way to see out was to put this poor chair on this poor table. But anyway, we are turning, oh my gosh, look at this. We are seeing some Seattle. We've got Mount Rainier over there. Goodbye, Seattle. We will see you soon. I get some majestic views of Mount Rainier in the distance. Yeah, see, looking at these balconies, we are kind of like, see, this is what I would call maybe the hump of the ship. You know how sometimes balconies go out on the hump. They actually have a nice unobstructed view down to the water. But then when these balconies inset, this row is the one that's over top of this no access thing. But still, not bad, especially for us just doing a guarantee balcony. B balcony, that was the word I wanted. Look at all these views we're gonna get. And you know, the whales don't swim that close to the ship, so <laughs> we're gonna be able to see all of them. So all of them. So excited. No, don't fall. Uh, Ma'am? Well, okay. I mean, at least that you is. just go. Yeah, that's true. Actually. That's a good thing. Like, I was wondering, you know, what if the GoPro fell from its poor little mount? Well, first of all, it would probably end up inside our balcony, but worst case, it's like, oh, I just have to go get somebody to retrieve it right okay. there. <laughs> yeah, need one of those <laughs> pinchy things. Off we go on another Alaskan adventure. I say like we've had more than one in the past. <laughs> it felt like it's been cool. a long. We said we were going to do Alaska every two years, yeah. and now here we are two years later. Oh my gosh! Well, then we're doing it next year too. I feel like we're going to do, it, we'll every do year. it every year. Yeah, and include land trips. I think too. Gosh, y'all, we really have to I ramp up this Alaska. Alaska. I know. That's a goal for next summer. We already have our back-to-back -back mm -hmm. on the Radiance of the Seas. And then I think we're going to plan a land trip for at least a couple of weeks. There's so much you can do in like parts that you don't cruise to. Mm. Like, you know, Anchorage and... Um, like Fairbanks and, and Channel. Stuff like that, which you can do on cruise tours, but we don't spend a lot of time. Talkeetna. Talkeetna looks cute. Whittier. Wasilla. I'm Whittier. Or I'm Whittier like than so. you. Yeah. You are Whittier.
sail away. We are done with you. I wish this, uh, guys, don't do that. I wish this little thing opened far enough to clip onto the railing. Maybe we'll have to think of something else, but all right. Oh gosh, we are sailing away into the sun. Well, you know, not into the sun. We're sailing in that direction in general, but it's the wild, hangry dinner D taking photos <laughs> of the mountains. This we is making it better. That's true. We went on the app to check in for 645 My Time Dining because that was the earliest slot you could get. And apparently it's booked up till 730. There's nobody on the ship, so I don't understand. There's that. hungry people. But see, our bodies, it's like 1045 by the time we eat, and by the time we're done, it's like midnight. So this is really weird. That's crazy. Yeah. But I took boning, so I had a snack. <laughs> that That's work. not how that works. All right. We're, okay, we're getting pretty, ready to go to dinner. I'm going to eat the entire menu. <laughs> what? Okay. Let's see. Let's check my phone. It is 7.06. I think there is an I don't have a reservation line. Maybe. Even though we do, so we could go stand down there and see what happens. We just gotta be like, plead our case. Yeah. Time changes. She's so hungry. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> What's up? Hey guys. We're going to dinner, in case yeah. you didn't hear. So I guess that's it. We are dressed in our finest. I look the same, but I did put long pants and socks and stuff on. I'm wearing this. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go have dinner in the dining room, because yeah. it's kind of the only choice. No wind jammer for dinner or no. dinner these days. That's a thing. No. Uh, anything else that we need to say? I mean, there's specialty restaurants and the park cafe. That's true. For snacks and stuff. So there are a few options. If we can't get into my time, we're yeah, going to go somewhere. Snacks. Well, let's roll to dinner, maybe, and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, I like these elevators. You can just look straight out and see the glass. Yeah, we're going to go down to four okay. to our dining room. All right. We are good. They were able to take us right in. Hangry D will be hangry no more. Uh, mushroom soup. Okay. Yes. Nice. And for the main course, the separate recommendation is the first one is... So we do have the QR codes for the menus. He obviously brought us a paper menu, has given us some recommendations. We've got it on the phone as well. And actually, if you scroll down far enough on the menu, look at all those lights. They've got, well, there's the premium selections, desserts and all that. There is a whole menu down here of vegan appetizers, vegan entrees. I've never read the menu this thoroughly before. Vegan dessert. Of course, you got the kids' menus. We studied it and we were hungry. We did. We were real hungry and we were looking at all this stuff. There's all the kids' food, kids' desserts, and champagne and all that stuff. But cool. Just keep scrolling. You'll learn more and more. How, how, how are you sufficing over there? Oh my gosh, what are you doing? It's the part where we watch you chew dinner? No. Okay. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Bread is life. Thank you. Well, they're not going to thirst you to death on this ship. As soon as you threaten to be a little bit low, here comes more liquids, which I appreciate. I have a drinking problem. <laughs> a little bit. Man, we both ordered dessert, but he brought us special ice creams as well as chocolate chip cookies. So sweet. To go along with our dessert. He tried to give us more food, too. I was like, no, no, no. Yeah, no. He's like, don't you want the fried seafood? We're like, no. He knew your hangriness reputation preceded you. But I mean, once I eat, I'm okay. I don't need more. Yeah. Well, I didn't even realize I have elevator buttons on this little oh, diagram in yeah. the middle of the room that are also the same as having pushed the other elevator buttons. Fancy. <laughs> well, it is finally pretty quiet in the centrum, so let's get a nice big old pan and look at this bad boy. I hear very quiet music, but they're not blaring it. It's pretty tall. Whew, so about 45 minutes on dinner, I think 7.15, they let us in just about 8 o'clock. We were done. They were turning and burning. Crazy fast. 
Well, we came back to the cabin to find it looks like they've left us an extension cord. I think he saw that I had my little power block and I've been stretching my computer cord across to the table. So they gave us like a cool extension cord just in case we wanted to use that. That was extremely thoughtful. Isn't it, it is. I there for work, so. Aww. Yeah, and we got our cruise compass for tomorrow, Sea okay. day no towel animal, but usually not on, uh, you know, the first day. Yeah, there's me. Look, I'm out there in the mountains. It's really cold in here. <laughs> I like it. It makes it Alaska-ish. Okay, the sun went down Ooh. and the temperatures have dropped. And I have to approve. This oh definitely feels Alaska-ish. So pretty. I am so pretty. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> Can't put too much uh, mountain footage in this video because we're gonna have a lot of mountain footage what is happening in oh no you're putting <laughs> you're... <laughs> now we are ready to balcony it up out here it's only just after eight o'clock i thought we were ready to be alaska <laughs> yeah ready to be alaska oh it's so pretty and romantic that's me <laughs> it's better in person because I'm looking at the camera and it's like a lot closer. And it's also <laughs> extremely blurry. Um, I think it's having a hard time focusing on things. It's a lot closer and not blurry in person. Yeah, it's focusing so. on the uh, balcony rail rather than the mountains. You guys should you, go to Alaska. <laughs> you get the gist of it. Aye, aye, Captain. What are you spying out there? <laughs> Nothing because it's night. <laughs> well, there's a little pilot boat going somewhere. Maybe we've gone far enough to where the... <laughs> well, you're using binoculars, young lady. Maybe they've released us or something. I know we're passing the town of Port Angeles over here. There's a Coast Guard base and stuff. Look big. <laughs> Look real big through those binoculars. <laughs> Look at all these sunset colors we got going on. Again, camera doesn't quite do it justice, but you get the gist. What's up, y'all? We came back inside. It was a little chilly. I like it. No, it feels good. Just, you know, have enough clothing and you're fine. True. This light is real creepy. Oh, gosh. I kind of like it. <laughs> so I think it's dark and we're probably going to call it a night. Because you know us East Coasterners, we can't handle it when we come out of this West Coast tonight. It's about nine here, but it's like midnight at home and we didn't get much sleep last night. So I'm okay. I'm I can party chill. all I night. I drank coffee like and everything it. and I'm still tired. My stomach's full and I'm happy. I have mountains. Oh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> But the funny thing is we looked at the schedule for tonight. There's not like a big show. There's a no. one comedy show at 9.30 up mm -hmm. in the main lounge. You can't really record Royals shows or comedy especially. I don't usually mm -hmm. record. So it's not like we're missing any content. It's just we're going to relax in our room yeah. rather than go listen to a man's tell jokes up in the front or lounge. A like, no, it is a man actually. It is. I looked at the schedule. <laughs> so I guess that's it. Yeah. But... It's going to be a little bit, like, if, if you're used to our Slamma Jamma Caribbean, oh, yeah. it'll be a little bit of a different vlog series. Mm -hmm. Alaska is just a different vibe. I love it, though. It's peaceful and yes. serene and beautiful. And there's adventure as well, because it just depends on what you want to do. Like, True. there's some really awesome excursions that are high impact, but then you can take it easy if you want to as well. Yeah, we got a lot of fun things planned yeah. for the port, but we're just going to take it easy. Like, there's live music and stuff going on around the ship, and we'll get into that some mm -hmm. other nights. But for now, we're just crashing. Okay. So we've got two <laughs> sea days now until we hit yeah. Sitka. So a lot of ship life until we <laughs> get to a port life. Yes. Anyway, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with us. Good night, guys. Y'all come on back now. You're here. Do it. <laughs> Bye.